Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Tuesday, the 21st of February 2017, ending Friday the 24th, Tuesday, because Monday is a uh, holiday here in the U.S. for President's Day, Banks Stock Market Closed. So we're just going to work with uh, the four days of the week that we get. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the futures. It's the broad market and futures form. Not much to see there. We're bumping up. We're running that risk line from the 13 sell signal. Let's get on to the other indices and see what we got. So crude oil has been so flat now for two months, as has so many things. Up three cents to 53.78 on Friday. Gold loses six dollars and ten cents, which is a blip. Uh, the S&P was up three for options expiration. We got the 13 sell signal uh, just six days ago. We blasted right, right through the risk line of that. By the way, NDX uh, 100 up 24. Not very exciting there as well. Um, been some really slow times in the market, to be honest, the way the trading has played out. SOX up five near highs. Biotech's up 15, 16 points. Not well, near highs, but hasn't made new highs for the last year. VIX down 27 cents to 11.49. Again, these low VIX readings. Even though we look at that risk line, how perfect that was on the low there. So we still have a buy signal on the VIX, but it's a month and a half old. The buy signal on the VIX usually gives you a tank in the market. Uh, move a move a rollover in the market, and we haven't seen it yet. The trend closes at 0.89. That puts the 10-day moving average at 1.01, which is not really a signal either way. Nasdaq volume 1.7 on Friday. Now, this is interesting because Friday was options expiration, and usually you get a lot of extra volume. It's meaningless volume. It's the conversion of the uh, the options to stocks and then closing out the positions. So usually you get some extra volume on uh, expiration Friday. And instead, 1.7 billion, that's less than uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of last week. You see those single dot days over the last year, most of them were options expiration days. So it was very unusual to see that. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ on Friday was plus 328, although it was negative 400 on Thursday since we talked last. But the New York was negative 167, it was about negative almost 500 on Thursday. So I'd say overall market just pretty flat. That's normal for an expiration. Google up four, but not near the highs yet. Apple up 38 cents. Apple's been on a tear, obviously, since about, uh, well, since December. Uh, so Apple's been from 108 to 135, which is a decent move for Apple. Uh, it's a big stock, obviously. Amazon, this is a breakout potential here on the daily chart, cup and handle. Netflix up 21 cents. Doesn't put it at closing highs. It exactly puts it where it was a month ago. And then Tesla, 328, bouncing back. Now, we made some good money this week on Tesla on a short on Thursday. Gave us that 13 sell signal. The uh, let me see, was that on Monday? Then a doji candle on Tuesday. Rolled over Wednesday and gave us the nice short trade on Thursday. So we made some good money there. Had a couple of nice winners this week, even though the market's eh, not very exciting. TLT the bonds up 71 cents, but still hanging near lows. God help us if the bonds crack to new lows. That would not be good. The Dow up four points is a nothing, complete blip. And then Goldman up uh, 90, uh, 94 cents to 250.38. Remember, we are right against the risk line on Goldman. We got a 13 sell signal uh, when we made the new highs. The risk line was the, basically the high so far. Can't get through it. See what happens. It's uh, it's interesting. That's for sure. Uh, all right, so what do we have to look forward to? Oh, no, let's look at the uh, intro week action, which means here's the futures. i got to switch this to 10-minute candles, and there it is. So Monday, small gap up, and then push a little higher, flattened out in the afternoon. Tuesday, basically a flat opening, drifted down, then came back up in the afternoon, closed green. Thursday, gap down, moved up. Uh, Wednesday, gap down, moved up. That was the top of the week at the close on Wednesday. Thursday, small gap down that never filled. Keep in mind, we talk about these options unraveling moves. Definitely got one on Wednesday this week. You can see the volume held up, and we got that move. So that was options unraveling, and then the rest of the week is usually dead flat, and we closed Friday right where we closed Wednesday. So definition of an options unravel. If you understand the stock market, uh, once you see that on Wednesday, you should expect to be about where we closed on Friday. That's just normal. Uh, here's a look at the NASDAQ side. Not much to it. All right. Uh, so what do we have for data coming out this week? It's actually kind of limited here in the U.S. Remember, we have Monday as a holiday, so that uh, that's that's closed on the 20th. Tuesday, the 21st, no data. Wednesday, 7 a.m., MBA Mortgage Applications Index, 10 a.m., Existing Home Sales, 2 p.m., FOMC Minutes. None of those are a big deal. Maybe the minutes, if, they're, uh, if there's anything surprising in there, might not be. Thursday, Initial and Continuing Jobless Claim, FHFA Housing Price Index, Natty Gas, Crude Oil Inventories. And then uh, 
Friday the 24th, we've got uh, Michigan Sentiment New Home Sales. That's the week ahead. Not much else to say. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for this week. But otherwise, uh, you know, usually what happens is this. Tuesday, probably a little bit slow. First day back from holiday. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, probably the better opportunities for the week. Friday, eh, you never know. Have a great week.